Today we're going to talk a little bit about pre-reading skills, the kinds of things students need to know before they ever begin to start reading. Matching is very important for students. Matching shapes, matching patterns, matching letters to sound, matching words to their meaning. This can take all kinds of forms and playing games, cutouts, objects, but any kind of matching builds a student's uh, pre-language, uh, pre-reading strengths. And it also helps them uh, develop a, a, a very important way of thinking. Much of thinking is pattern recognition. So helping students recognize patterns is helpful not only in reading, but in every kind of thinking. Print awareness. This is very important to help students understand that letters have sounds. Point to the letters, say the sound, have students say the sound. They need to learn to, to know that letters go together to make words. Run your finger under the, the uh, letters as you say a word so that students come to understand that those letters go together to make a word and that words have meaning. Print awareness, in essence, means that students understand that those written symbols represent uh, thoughts and feelings, that they, are, um, that they have meaning. Have students experience books as much as possible. Touch them, hold them, see you touch and hold them. See you turn the pages, see you read from them so that they understand that print has meaning. S young students need to understand the directionality of print. For example, in English, we go uh, from the left to the right. Helping students uh, understand that, uh, letting them see you read a book, letting them uh, run your hand under the text as you read it, helps them to recognize that you start on the left and go to the right. Help them, sh ask them to show you where you should start reading on a page. Help them to understand how to hold a book, what the front of the book is, what the back of the book is, where you should start reading. This is all part of developing print awareness, which they need to understand even before they start reading. Students need to develop small reading, small motor skills, um, especially when they're going to start trying to write. We talked about the importance of scribbling. Scribbling is very important. Scribbling not only builds those small motor skills, but students start uh, putting meaning into their scribbles. Sometimes, you know, when they began, you can't see the meaning. But they can, and they began to imagine the meaning in those scribbles. And those scribbles are what are going to end up as pictures and texts when they develop a little more. So encourage them to scribble. Encourage them to do anything where they use their hands in small ways. For example, on the picture on this page, it's a bag of rice. Students are using a stick to move the grains of rice to form the letters. This can be used over and over again, but the students are feeling the small motor activity that forms those letters. They can ride in the dirt, they can ride in the sand. Um, some of the activities we did was, was farming letters out of sticks, farming letters out of, of string. All of this helps the students not only recognize the shape of the letter, but to develop the small note motor skills necessary to make those letters. Students need to, to start learning their letters. Um, in these pictures, they, um, students have used clay and scratched the letter into the clay, and they've used clay to form the letter. They can do this with, with any material that, that you can come up with. You can be very creative in helping them find ways to make the letters. They need to start saying the sounds that the letter represents. And of course, some sounds, I mean some letters, have more than one sound. Uh, e or I, A, 
And so you can help them recognize that a letter can not only have a single sound, but can have more than one sound. Rhyming is something that is, is very important for students. Uh, and of course, little bitty children love rhymes. You can start this very early, saying nursery rhymes, putting them to music. I've seen you all do some wonderful things in that regard. This helps them understand um, the, the, the letters that sound similarly. Uh, for example, in this picture, there is, uh, they're using one syllable words. It's always best to start with one syllable words. Tall, ball, fall, wall, call, stall. Writing these words with a picture helps the students guess or predict what the rhyme would be. And this can easily be done on the blackboard. You have all, put a T with it. Tall, all, put a B with it. Ball, all, put an F with it. Fall. This is uh, a, another way of, of doing it. This one has little flip pictures. And it's the end of the word that is there. And you can flip to put different letters at the front. Uh, and students can guess what the word will be. Uh, J, the J is a Jeep. If you flip it, it might be P as in peep. L as in leap. Um, that wouldn't be L-E-E-P. But uh, so book, look, uh, took, moon, soon, tent, went. Uh, just by moving the, the first letter in these flip charts, you can help students start rhyming and understand that the letters make the words. The letters have sounds, and the sounds go together to make words. Uh, this one uses post-it notes, or little pieces of paper. They've got at, and the student then can take the initiative to pick a letter, can be just a little small piece of paper, and put it with the at, and try and say the word bat. Fat, mat, cat. You can do it for the student and let the student do it for themselves. Let them be in partners and do it with each other. But the more rhyming they can do, uh, the stronger their, their pre-reading skills will be. It's a common rule in, in language that the more experience students have in language, talking and be talked to, Telling, hearing stories and telling stories, retelling stories, summarizing stories, just using language. This does many things. First of all, it just helps them be, to be comfortable with language. Secondly, it builds their vocabulary and their self-confidence with language. So remember, the more they talk, the more they're talked to, the more they experience with language, the better readers they will be. And these are some of the best pre-reading skills.